Okay, here's the problem solving video for problem 5.8. Says find V0 using superposition. And since we're using superposition, we're going to utilize the problem solving strategy on page 172. Uh, it says for step one, a network containing multiple independent sources. Each source can be applied independently with the remaining sources turned off. Uh, step two talks about if you turn a voltage source off, you replace it, replace it with a short circuit and turn off a current source, you replace it with an open circuit. Uh, use your circuit techniques, then we're going to add all the responses together. So here's our circuit. We've got three independent sources, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, analyze it with one source active. So let's start with the um, 8 milliamp current source. And if you'll notice, the voltage source was connected here, and we replaced it with a short. There was a current source across the top, a 2 milliamp. We replaced it by an open, so our circuit uh, reduces to this. And we're trying to find the voltage V0 prime. And now we'll use things like resistor combinations, voltage division, and current division. So to start, let's uh, combine those two resistors in series. And redraw the circuit. Okay, now the voltage V0 prime disappears from this circuit because I've combined those two resistors together. But really, if we can get this current, I'll call it I1 prime. This is I1 prime in the circuit up here. If I can calculate it, I can calculate V0 prime. So now, uh, let's combine these two resistors in parallel. Okay. And if we combine those, the circuit will now be reduced to the following. The uh, 6 kilo ohm and 3 kilo ohm in parallel becomes a 2 kilo ohm. This is a 3 kilo ohm. We still have the current I1 prime uh, at this point in the circuit. And if we calculate I1 prime, Using current division, we'll have 8 milliamps times 2K over 2K plus 3K. And that'll get us 3.2 milliamps. So here in this circuit, this is 3.2 milliamps. And 3.2 milliamps up here. So then... V0 prime is 1K times 3.2 milliamps to give us 3.2 volts. So the 8 milliamp current source, when we analyze a circuit uh, with it alone, we get a voltage V0 prime of 3.2 volts. Now, let's analyze the source, the circuit with the voltage source active and the two current sources turned off. There's our circuit. Uh, we have the voltage source in the circuit now. The two current source, we've turned them off and replaced them by open circuits. So now uh, we'll just use resistor combinations, uh, current division, voltage division. So again, we have these two resistors. We can combine them in series. And when we do that, we'll have a circuit uh, that's shown here. Okay, the 2K and 1K in series is a 3K. Now, if we take these two and combine them in parallel, we can reduce the circuit a little more. do the following. Now, uh, let's say we want to calculate this voltage V0. That's also this voltage. And it's also, well, let's don't call it V0. Let's call it V1 
double prime, V1 double prime, and V1 double prime. If we wanted to calculate V1 double prime, for instance, uh, in the circuit, we could do that by voltage division. So V1 double prime okay, would be, by voltage division, be 12 times 2K over 2K plus 3K. And that says that's 24 over 5, which is 4.8 volts. Okay, so V1 double prime is 4.8 here. It's also 4.8 here. These two resistors in series, so we can do voltage division one more time. So we have 4.8 times 1K over 1K plus 2K. That gives us V0 double prime of 1.6 volts. So the only remaining analysis is uh, to analyze it with the other current source. So now we've replaced the voltage source with a short. We've taken our other current source and replaced it with a short. And here is the circuit uh, that we have. And again, let's do uh, resistance combinations and voltage division and current division. Okay, for instance, these two uh, resistors are in parallel. So let's combine those in parallel. And we do that, our circuit will reduce to the following. The 3K and the 6K in parallel is a 2K. We still have the voltage V0 triple prime. And I'm going to call this current I1 triple prime. And uh, we have a current division. Here we have 2 milliamps entering. Part of it is going to go through this path. Part of it's going to go through this path. So by current division, we'll have 2 milliamps. These two are in series for 3K. So then we have 2K over 2K plus 3K. That tells us that I1 triple prime then is 0.8 milliamps. So then V0 triple prime is 0.8 milliamps times 1K. 0.8 volts. So now, V0 is V0 prime plus V0 double prime plus V0 triple prime. So we have 3.2 plus 1.6 plus 0.8 to give us 5.6 volts for V0.